Okay, so here we have iFlyRC.com's IF2207 2300KV motor. Uh, this was sent in by iFlyRC.com. Thanks for sending it so I can test it and share the results with you guys. Uh, so motor comes with four mounted screws, M3x6, and the uh, aluminum uh, nylock. And as you can see, uh, this one's a pretty standard motor uh, with the standard base and one piece steel shaft, which is hollowed. Uh, doesn't seem to be hollow all the way through, but it's uh, it's hollow. And uh, yeah, it's hollow only that much there on this side and in the back yeah that much so it, they left it solid uh, right about this uh, portion there if you hollow them all the way through that gets, gets rid of the uh, stress points and it actually helps against uh, breaking shearing off uh, shafts it relieves stress so as you can see the motor this motor has pretty pretty good uh, air gap uh, it looks like uh, we'll take a look at it on the magnifying glass uh, shortly uh, so as uh, pretty standard okay, so let's see what it weighs with the 95 millimeters worth of uh, 18 gauge wire pretty thick wire so that's a uh, 36.8 36.8 uh, so if we cut the wire and leave it at 50 millimeters, uh, you will remove this much weight. 1.4, uh, so that's uh, 30, 35.4, so that would be 35.4. 35.4, so if you remove all of the wire, if you want to know just what the motor weighs, so that's... Uh, uh, that's equivalent to removing all that wire there that's 2.8 so just the motor itself weighs actually 34 grams a uh, little bit on the heavy side but I think for these 2207s that's that's a, that's a close to the weight of 2207s there are lighter ones but you know this one this one's supposed to be a somewhat of a mid-budget motor so can't fault it for weighing uh, a little coming in a little heavy and the uh, construction of the motor itself is feels pretty good a little bit of a sharp edges there just but that's just because of the the design it's got the little relief there for the prop uh, so it grabs the prop there when you when you tighten it and the uh, uh, so I removed the circlip and uh, uh, disassemble the motor so I can show you on the magnifying glass. So, so this one, this one's using those uh, fancy circlips that are a pain in the butt to remove. You gotta have one of these. Uh, One of these tools. Uh, by the way, I got this one on eBay. I think this was like three or four dollars, and it was a it's actually made for much larger circlips because uh, the ones that are for these three or four millimeter circlips are more expensive. Uh, so what I did is I I actually with the Dremel I uh, made it really pointy. You can see uh, it's been Dremel, and it it works. It works okay. It's not uh, perfect, but it works. So remove the circlip, and it's got a brass washer. Sometimes those are hard to remove. So there's the brass washer, and. Uh, uh, we'll take a look at it on the magnifying glass so we can have a better look 
at uh, the quality of the motor. Okay, so now that the circlip is out and the uh, washer, we can remove the bell and look what uh, look what's inside. So magnets uh, uh, doesn't they don't look that chunky. Look the like normal thickness. There's some balancing mud right there, so they've done dynamic balancing. Uh, shaft is four millimeters, and the bearings uh, they look to be uh, seems like they're NMB variants, so an M NMB brand, so that's pretty pretty good brand. Uh, should be okay. Windings look actually pretty nice, very nice windings, uh, all very neat, all nicely aligned, and looks like they're using. Uh, looks like they might be using single strand wire uh, laminations 0.2 millimeters and let's check the uh, height of the stator so that seems to be 7 millimeters so nominal size on that and bearings are just your standard uh, 4 by 9 by 4 so pretty standard bearings. Uh, overall, pretty pretty good quality. Nice and thick ring, so it should be okay in crashes. So yeah, overall I'd say a pretty well made motor. Uh, so now we'll see we'll see what it uh, what it does on the thrust stand. Although this one. Uh, this one is 2300 kV only, so these days, you know, 2450, 26, 2700 kV seems to be the norm. Everybody's going for for higher kV. Uh, these, these are almost like old school now. Uh, but I'm sure uh, some people still like these because they're, they should be, should be pretty efficient, I think, on 5-inch on props and should have a pretty good torque so I'll have to I'll have to try them and see see how they fly uh, and compared to the 2306s now that I've been using so I haven't flown a 2207 in a long time uh, ever since the storm uh, I like that motor too that was pretty torquey so so we'll see how this one does uh, let's uh, look at the thrust test then
Okay, so let's look at the results for the thrust test on the Force IF-2207 2300KV motor. This one measures slightly higher 2330, 2330 KV. Uh, pretty, pretty close to the nominal uh, stated KV, so that's, that's pretty normal for motors. They'll be either slightly lower or slightly higher, so extra 30 KV uh, doesn't hurt. Actually, a little bit better, I think. Uh, so I went ahead and tested on 3S and 4S, uh, seems, uh, and also I did a 5S run. So, so those are the voltage values that are, uh, would be good for, for this motor, I think. Uh, so the usual props, uh, Gen Fan 5045BN, uh, still a popular prop, uh, two blade prop. Uh, pretty respectable 1300 grams and a very uh, manageable 32 amps, so this prop should be quite uh, efficient uh, with this prop and this motor. Then let's move on to the triple blade props, the HQ 5043x3. I, I don't test the 5040x3 anymore because test uh, numbers are actually very close to the 5043. The 5043 uh, does slightly better, just, just by a tiny bit, so it's kind of redundant to test the 5040x3 anymore, so I just test this one. Uh, so almost 1400 grams at, at uh, 35 and a half amps, pretty manageable, I think. Uh, remember, these are static thrust uh, amps, so they're going to be a little bit exaggerated, a little bit high, you know, so uh, than what you'll get in the air. But in the air, it's going to be quite a lot lower, usually 25 to 35 percent lower. So so these these look kind of scary here on the on the table, but uh, don't worry about it. You know, this is. This is normal. All motors that I test uh, will show these high amps. Just keep in mind these are static thrust max amps. So this is like a burst. So the same when you're flying and you punch on the throttle, you get a quick burst uh, of high amps and then it'll settle down. So that's what this is equivalent to. So you, you know, you're not going to see this in the air. Okay. So moving on, uh, on the 5S test for the HQ5043, pretty, pretty good numbers, 1843 grams, so quite a lot of thrust. Uh, of course, the amps are going to be uh, quite a lot higher, but pretty manageable, I think. Again, uh, this is static thrust, so amps are going to show high, so don't, don't worry about that. Then uh, the heavier 5-inch props uh, approaching 1,500 grams, and then this uh, 5045 by 3 V2 breaking the 1,500 gram mark. So so this motor seems to have pretty pretty good torque. The 2207 motor has been known for that. Uh, that size motor does pretty well, and it's been kind of overshadowed by the hype of the 2306 motor. So everybody's going moving on to 2306, but I think these 2207s are still a pretty pretty good size to run. Uh, they they run quite well actually. Then on the 6 inch props, uh, we can see uh, almost 1800 grams uh, at uh, pretty okay amps I think. And also went ahead and tested this uh, new prop uh, that's available at iflyrc.com is the Nazgul 5063x3. Uh, so on the thrust test, it's showing okay performance, not as not that high, but I'm thinking the design of this prop is very similar to the to that of the um, of the Team Bracecraft and the the Gen Fan uh, 51-52. Uh, those props don't. All those props don't do well on the on the static because they they been mainly designed to to be to be more effective in forward flight. So they they actually need air moving through the blades, and that's when they show their their adva advantage. So so they they won't sh test well on the static, but when you fly them, it's a different story. You know, then you'll feel uh, what they can do. You know. All right. So here's a quick side by side comparison against the Racer Star. 2306, 2400 kV, uh, similar kV, just different si different stator size. So I thought this would be a good uh, motor to compare it with, uh, uh, just to see what difference are between the 2306 and the uh, 2207. Uh, you can also always compare it against other 2306 motors that I've tested. The thrust tables are on my channel, so so you could always do that. Uh, but I thought this would be a, a decent comparison. So as you can see, the 5043 prop uh, on the 2207, it's actually just slightly higher uh, thrust. So pretty, pretty much equal, I would say. You know, that, that's not much difference. So, uh, and the amps are also pretty much the same. Uh, then as we move on to 
larger props like the 5046 by 3 as you can see it's still the 2207 is maintaining the advantage a little bit higher thrust for pretty much the same uh, the same amps and then as we move on to the really heavy props the 6 inch props uh, the 6045, uh, the 227 is actually doing a little bit better. Uh, the same thing with the 6040, so a uh, little bit better thrust for basically the same amp. So pretty good on the uh, on the 2207. It's holding its own against uh, some of these 2306s. So uh, again, the 2207 size should not be o overlooked. Uh, uh, it's still a uh, viable solution for for people to run these motors so uh, all right uh, so that's the review and test for this motor i uh, hope you find it useful uh, thanks for watching until the next video